Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rebel Racing. It is finally here, the mini update we've been waiting for. Welcome to Mini Madness. Four new minis to unlock, we see some uh, classic minis here, we see the JCV here and some sort of custom JCV I would presume. Interesting. Uh, new Italian environment and this is something that I am really excited about. I saw the trailer uh, for the game and it looked absolutely stunningly beautiful uh, in the Italian environment So I'm really really excited to have a deep dive into that today new challenges of course we would expect no less Oh, it's actually uh, a career a mini career. It would look like okay claim reward All right, so if I'm correct here the developers of the game have been kind enough to give me some minis here So that I can show off this update here So let's sort this by no not sort let's filter this by Mini Cooper Yeah, here they are all four of them. So as you can see we have the uh, 2019 mini John Cooper works GP concept we have the 1963 Mini Cooper S Custom, the 2018 Mini John Cooper Works, and the 1963 Mini Cooper S. If we're looking at Mini Coopers, I think this is like the best selection you could possibly have put in here. I really, I, I like all of this uh, that they have decided to put here. Uh, let's see if there are any resources available here. 75 gold, uh, it is... Uh, it is a level 6 resource though, so I'll buy all three here, I think. Um, there we go. Very high level uh, resource, of course. We can open a bronze crate here before we get into the video, so let's do that, I guess. Uh, let's see what we can get from this bronze crate, and it's nothing. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's see now. Let's go into race and let's see what there is to do. There's probably a lot to do, I would guess. Uh, S class ladder. Why are they locked? Oh, airport. After the success of the festival, we've decided to expand. Have you ever been to Italy? I have a treat for you. My best friend Daniela will meet you at the airport. This is so interesting. Let's see. This this gives uh, this gives me test drive unlimited two vibes. You know, we could travel be between the islands. Nice. Ciao. My name is Daniela. Eva has told me so much about you. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful? Uh, come on, grab your things. I'll meet you at the gate. Ah, bellissimo. Uh, let's see here. Italian. I Italian? Italy. Oh, here we are. After the success of the Rebel Festival, Eva asked me to set you up with something special. Welcome to Mini Madness. Right, so we have the daily mini chance. Look at this beautiful environment here. Okay, so let's get into this. Come back every day to test and drive a different mini. Okay, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. Ready to go? E every day of the week. Let's do it. Okay, this is the first I will see of this new Italian environment. I must say that I am very excited. It looked really beautiful uh, looking at the uh, trailer. So hopefully... It will live up to its name here. It's certainly looking good so far. Okay. Gr oh my god. This is a name I don't think I can say. Grammy? Grammy? Gram? Gram? Grammy? I don't know. <laughs> but at least that's who we are racing. Uh, Nitrous here, I'm guessing. Hey, these uh, small alleyways. This reminds me of uh, DS Delfino Square. I guess that is also actually based on um, Italy. So yeah, that would make sense, right? There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue here. Very, very Mario Kart vibes there with the uh, Delfino Square. Uh, what a race. And what did you think of the ride? I think you're going to enjoy this series. Let's go look at the cars. Of course, I already have the cars. So we can actually continue just racing here. Ah, oh, I wanna go to Italy again. Okay, so currently there is nothing else we can do in Italy, it looks like. Uh, or are we supposed to actually go, what a race. I think you're going to... Okay, maybe we are supposed to go and look at the cars. Yeah, okay. Uh, Mini Madness, of course. These are the cars. 
you will need a 1963 Mini Cooper S to participate in the Mini Madness. I already have one, so that's totally fine. And you can see all of these other cars here. Uh, of course, we already have them. So now that I have that car, Mini Madness. Let's see here. Mini Madness. Ah, there we go. Daniela. We have the Mini Cooper S Ladder, which will start in 37 minutes, apparently. Ooh, is this a new UI? Or have I just not been playing for a while? This UI looks absolutely gorgeous in comparison to the, the old one. Wow, I am a big fan of this UI. This looks amazing. Awesome stuff, guys. Awesome stuff, guys. Um, yeah, dude, this game is starting to look more and more... Like, stunning. It's it's like, it's looking really good. The, 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 at this point, this could have been, you know, like a PC game, dude. Very good job, guys, over a touch. Uh, I guess we'll just get into it, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Let's race. Hard. Okay, maybe we should have upgraded our mini first. We'll do that shortly here. Uh, ah, we're facing Dangela over and over, I'm guessing. Uh, we will do more videos on this mini madness. Um, of course, uh, this is like the off-road uh, campaign almost, but of course with minis instead of with off-road cars. So this is just the first part of a series I will do on this, just like I did on the off-road campaign. I know a lot of you guys like that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was so, so, so sneaky. Now we win. Now we definitely win. That, that was like the pit maneuver <laughs> there. <laughs> I guess. We did whatever it took. Uh, we can't go next because then we would get absolutely smashed here. We need to upgrade our mini here. Okay, good. We are here. So let's upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade. We're obviously gonna take this to stage four at least here. Are there mini augmentations now? Uh, okay, we'll just take it from the Sylvia. Fine. Uh, let's see. Let's take that from this. We're just going around pilgriming stuff from the other cars that we are no longer using. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Yeah, okay. There we go. So now we are stage four and ready to go, hopefully. So let's continue racing here. Whoops, let's press mini madness so we get immediately into that. Lovely mini madness here and let's continue racing. Yeah, as a, so so far I can't give anything but positive reviews here. I, I, I really like this, dude. Uh, for what it's worth, uh, if they keep doing things like this, Rebel Racing is like growing into something that is unlike anything else on the market currently. Like, if they keep doing these vast updates with new environments, new cars, you know, this will be an expansive game. This will be a big, big game if they keep doing things like this. So, I am very, very positive towards this, and I am very positive towards the future of Rebel Racing, if they keep doing uh, good stuff like this, I, I can definitely see how this game will be popular for a while to come, like a long while. Uh, we're obviously gonna do, go through all of these first couple of races here, um, so that you can see how it is, and also then we are going to look over the customizations options, for the next mini. We actually didn't look over the customization options for this mini. Unfortunate. Uh, but we're definitely gonna make sure to do it for the next mini. We might come back and look at this one when we're done with the campaign. Who knows. Um, but yeah. I really hope you guys are excited for these upcoming videos I will do. Uh, I will give you of course the in-depth uh, walkthrough of the entire uh, mini madness, uh, you know that I will. And I will try to upload pretty regularly so that I can get all of this out, you know, um, pretty quickly. Uh, I'm gonna do it so that I can... I, I think I'm gonna do it... Um, what was I gonna say? Like two a week maybe? Something like that to get them out uh, over the course of two weeks. 
You have a friend suggestion? No, thank you. Um, not today, son. Do you also get that Facebook? Like, I am, I'm very not often on Facebook, but when I am on Bluestacks, it recommends me friends that are just like random people that I have no idea who they are. Uh, do you have the same? We are getting absolutely smashed by, by Daniela, by the way. Oh, and I'm doing really well, uh, really bad in these corners. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what we're gonna do is, first of all, we have to fully upgrade our car, I think. And then second of all, we need to get used to these tight streets here. Look at this. <laughs> I'm just crashing into absolutely everything here. Okay, we definitely lost that. Let's be real here. Let's, uh, let's upgrade this all the way then. Upgrades. You know I just finna skip all of this. <laughs> I don't have these 15 minutes right now. I'm just gonna let this be done. And there we go. Okay. So let's see. Uh, how about now? Yeah. Green. That was what, that's what we like to see. Maybe we can get through this now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we can do. Daniela, consider yourself beaten. She has such a head start, dude. Oh, uh, I don't realize it's a full turn there. So now nah, we're absolutely wrecked again now. Something I wish there was is like a little minimap in the middle top of your screen so that you could see... Uh, where the road is going next, you know Because it's not easy to see especially in an environment like this one where it is a little bit, you know cluttered it is a little bit um, How do you call it? It's a little bit small, you know, like uh, Shoved in like just small alleyways and stuff like this a uh, minimap on the top like I mean the top middle would be absolutely great to just have there so uh, that's something I would uh, consider uh, just a little tip from me there um, I mean it doesn't need to be something big it doesn't need to cover the entire screen it's just like you know like how you would have like a rear view mirror up here instead you can have like a little radar showing you how the uh, how the track is going I think that would add a lot to the game um, especially like any racing game has a little radar you know a little minimap so uh, especially now that you're giving, giving, giving us new environments, new cars, you know, expanding your game. I think that would be a good thing to do. Especially if you want to have even more advanced environments. Uh, if we move uh, on from Italy. Uh, I would definitely say that that would be a good idea. To, you know, have a radar so people don't get absolutely lost in the sauce. Um <laughs> So we have one left, I think, right? Uh, and then we are going to look over... Yep, one left. And then we're going to look over the customization options of the JCV. Uh, so yeah. And we're going to get that car ready, of course. Which means applying some more upgrades here. Bleeding our cash a bit. Uh, but hey, it's all in the name of playing the game, right? So can't be mad about that. Okay, she took that very wide. Oh, here we go. This is where we sneak past. Oh, maybe not actually. Oh, <laughs> that's so unfair, dude. That's so unfair. I'm, I'm so sorry, Daniela. But hey, something had to be done. I had to get past you to win the race. That's what I did. <laughs> Let's see if she has something to say here. Uh, sweet driving time to move on to the next round uh, pick up a 2018 mini cooper works to continue the mini madness challenge And that's exactly what we have already done uh, Thanks to the lovely people over at Hutch, of course uh, are they oh I saw a mini cooper here Am I blind? There we go there does another okay, so we can actually filter from mini because we do have a mini 
uh, already in our garage. So what I want you to do, guys, is so that you can reorder these these cars with cars that are already in your garage if you are in a filter, you know? Um, if that makes sense, that would be amazing. Let's have a look at the customization options first here. We can make them different colors. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the color down here, and then look at this color. I really, really like this color, but it's not the same color as down there. Oh, this is an even brighter blue here. We have a white. Oh, some matte colors. We have the... Oof, that looks awful. We have this color. Is that the same as this over here? No, that's darker. I think I like the brighter one. I'm gonna go for this one, actually. Bye. Okay, wheel color... Oh, we could actually do that. That looks fine. Let's do that as well. The caliper color. No, I think that's fine. The way it is. Although we do have a blue as well if you want to go. Yeah, let's go full blue. Let's go full blue. And then we have some decals. I don't necessarily think any of these are going to fit the car. No, they are not. So we're just going to go without any decals. Yes. And there is our fully customized mini John Cooper Works 2018. We are going to upgrade it now, of course. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Uh, as far as we can without... Okay, there we go. So, when we come back... Uh, the next time we can apply the stage 4 things, of course. Actually, we want to... Do that now, I think. So we can start going on the uh, tier 5 upgrades. I think that's a better way to do this. So let's add some stuff here. Select. Bam. Tires. I'm running out of augmentations. <laughs> We're taking it from the other mini. Okay, that was fine. We had a lot of those and we had those. Okay, so now what we can do, right? What I wanted to do is do this so that we are upgraded to stage 5 when we come back to play again. Uh, which will be super nice, of course. So there we go. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of Rebel Racing. If you're interested in seeing me continue do this ladder, definitely hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when I make another video and you get it into your subscription feed. If you want to like my video, that would help me out a lot as well because when you like my videos, they get recommended to more people and that gets more views to my channel. So that would help me out so much. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, stay safe, have a good one, take care of one another and goodbye.